Today we're doing lesson 6.14, situations involving factors and multiples. So we've done the math warm up on page 156 and now we're looking at 157. Han starts writing multiples of a number. When he reaches 104, he has written eight numbers. So I want you guys to look at your multiplication tables and see if you can figure out what number, you've got a multiplication table at your desk, I want you looking at it, to see what numbers, look for where you see 104 as the eighth multiple. Rylan? Um, eight times 13. So, um, he's doing multiples of 13, right? He's going 13, 26, 39, and so on. Okay. So he's doing multiples of 113. And we know that because um, 113 times, or 13, sorry. I'm telling you, it's been a very long day. Okay. He's doing multiples of 13. And we know this because 13 times 8 equals 104. Okay? So if he keeps going and he's listed um, 13, 26, 39, and then it lists 104, and it says, what is the 15th multiple? That is the 8th. So if he kept going, what would be the 15th multiple? Well, we can figure that out by multiplying 13 times 15. And we're going to do area model on this. So we're going to multiply 13 times 15. And I want you to draw an area model over here on the side. And how many sections is it going to have? Nope. Caitlin, what answer were you going to say? Olivia? Three. Nope. Emma? Four. Thirteen becomes ten and three, and fifteen becomes ten and five. Remember that? Okay. So, the first box, we're going to multiply what? Ten times ten, what does that equal? One hundred. In the second box, what are we going to multiply? 10 times 5. 10 times 5, which equals? 50. Good. What about the next box? 3 times 10, which equals? 30. And the last box? 3 times 5, which equals? 15. Okay. And our last step? Stack them and add them. There you go. Stack them and add them. So we're going to stack up. 150, 30, and 15. And when we add all of those together, we will get 195. So the 15th multiple of 13 is 195. going until he gets up to 286. How many numbers has he written at that point? So we are going to, we know he's doing multiples of 13. So we're, this is basically what we're doing. 286 divided by 13. 
Now, we have not yet learned long division, so we have to use what we know to try and figure this out. So, I know that 286, well, I know that, um, I know 13 times 2 is 26, right? So, let me take away 26 from there. That's going to leave me with 260. So what I'm going to do is split 286 into 260 and 26. Okay? You add those together, they get 286, right? And then I'm going to use, um, divide both of these by 13. So 260 divided by 13. Well, what's your basic fact, Olivia? Mm, 26 divided by And what is 26 divided by 13? Two. Two, and then you bring over the zero, right? Plus 26 divided by 13. What is 26 divided by 13? Two. Two, and since we added to over here, we're going to add over here. What's 20 plus 2? 22. 22. So uh, if Han gets up to 286, he will have written down 22 numbers at that point. We're going to double check by multiplying 22 times 13, and we're going to use the standard algorithm. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start by doing... Um, pretending the 1 isn't there, and going 3 times 2, and 3 times 2, 6, okay, and now the 1 comes back, but the 1's really a 10, and 10's always have a 0 behind them, so I'm going to put a 0 in the 1's place, okay? And now, what was the first number we multiplied three times? This two right here, right? So that's the first number we're going to multiply the one time. So one times two is two. And one times two is two. So then we would stack them and add them, and we would get 286. So we did it correctly. 22 is what we get when we um, uh, get to 286. Okay. Next page. Karen wants to know how many multiples there are between 0 and 150. So we need to divide 150 <coughs> By seven. I don't think I said that right. He needs to know how many multiples of seven there are between zero and 150. So the first thing that we need to do, I'm thinking about multiples of seven. So I know 14 is a multiple of seven, right? And so if I divide 14 by 7, I'm going to get 20. So if he's counting by 7s, trying to get to 150, he's going to get up to 20 numbers written. And that's pretty close, but we can do another one. What is 7 divided by 7? Is 1. 1. And if we add these two together, what do we get? 147. So 147 divided by 7 equals? 21. 21. So that means there are 21 multiples of 7 between 0 and 150. Um, it, he thinks he can use division to find out. Do you agree? Yes. He 
can divide, can divide 150 by 7 to see how many multiples there are. multiples of seven there are. Okay. And then how many multiples will he find? 21. 21. <coughs> and our reasoning is because 21 times 7 hmm. Voices off, please. 7 times 1 is 7, and 7 times 2 is 14. So it won't go all the way to 150, but that's because there's uh, 150 is not a multiple of 7. If we're counting by 7s, we will never say 150. <coughs> we will say 147 and... We add seven to that, the next one would be 154. So no 150. Is 150 a multiple of seven? I just answered that. No. 147 and 154 are the closest. multiples of 7 to 150. Okay, one more page on this lesson. writing multiples of a mystery number. After writing a bunch of numbers, she writes the number 126. So my says the mystery number is 6. Multiple of six. Okay? 
The divisibility rule for 9 is the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. Is 9 divisible by 9? No. You have 9 cookies and oh, 9 yes. kids. Can yes. you do that? Yes. Absolutely. So 9 is also a factor of 126. So um, now on the check-in on the 8, um, we can see on our multiplication table that the 8 row goes up to 120. If we add 8 to 120, what do we get? So 8 is out. So Priya, sorry Priya. Bye-bye. Okay, so which students do you agree with? My, I'm going to give some black books out. My and Andre. Because six and nine are both factors of 126. Okay. <clears throat> Jada gives one more clue. She says, if I keep going, writing multiples, I'll get to 153. So 153. What is that? Based on the divisibility rules, what number's out now? Whose guess is out? Corbin? Prius is already out. Hers was out the first first go around. Chevy? My. Why is Maya out now? <laughs> Olivia? Because it's not even. Remember, the rule for six, the first one says it has to be even. The multiples have to be even. 153 is odd. Make sense? You're right, I'm going to do good work. Okay, so the mystery number has to be 9. Yes. Because... rules. I used to have a great big huge poster of them, but I don't know what happened to it. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Because it can be six since there should be since 153. Thank you, ma'am. No, six is up here. Okay. <clears throat> All right, that's the end of that one. Yes. I'm telling you guys, I have had a very I am more tired today than I've ever been in, in the 